Today, we're going to reduce the Endurance Cup from three days down to one little video. Okay, we've had a previous Endurance Cup recently. This is the same. It's a three day event. You've got to play at least 100 tickets to get the top tiers, but the top tiers are great prizes. You get the Mazda off-road tyre four-wheel drive car for the top 16 players and potentially a really good pack. Everyone should at least be getting a carbon fibre. The brackets are 128 full. The track sets are pretty simple. There's one wet track, but it's pretty fast. And the rest are all drags and fast tracks. There's no city streets, no dirt, no snow, no ice. This is the hand I'm running with. We've got the Porsche 911 in blue, which is at 233 maxed. We've got the Porsche 911 in yellow, which is currently putting its last fuse in it, so it will be 233 maxed. We've got the Mitsubishi, really light four-wheel drive car. We've got the Porsche 911 in black, 233 and we got the Hyundai Envision 233. This is the best stuff I've got in my garage that fits in 425RQ. There's a few others I could take. Obviously I have that second blue Porsche 911 but it is totally stock and I think it's going to be used as fuse material. So this is the best I can do. There are a few other good cars that people could have and this could be the problem to me, getting a top tier. What I'm most worried about is these two Porsche. The RQ98 and the RQ97 Porsche 911 and 935. They're my biggest problem, I think. Obviously, I have a four-wheel drive tax on my two Porsches. There's a few others in here as well that could be a problem. Further down the list, there's not so much of an issue, I think. I'm hoping to get top eight. That would be great. It's a really good pack if you get top eight. So now in the store, there are some packs to open for cash. I mean, there's packs to open for gold. There's a titanium, platinums and stuff, carbon fibres. But actually, there are five ceramics to open for 42,000 cash. And I have cash on me. So I'm going to do that, I think. All five packs. There's not much chance of getting anything good, but you never know. It's a ceramic after all, or as they call it, a premium. Let's see what we can get. Pack one, here we go. Audi, Chevrolet, Volkswagen, Lamborghini, and a Hyundai Ioniq. Not a good pack. Let's do pack two, here we go. Honda, Geo, Mitsubishi, Fiat Super Rare, and a Hyundai Ioniq again. Let's hit pack three, quick, let's do it. Citroen, Mazda, Skoda, Lotus, and woohoo, nice, 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 nice. That's a new car to me. It's a Volvo V70. It's just another car, but it's a new car to me, and I am really close to finishing the Super Rares. Let's do pack four. Here we go. Volkswagen, Peugeot, DS, Mitsubishi, and a Porsche. A Porsche. Okay, we've got one more pack. Let's do that last pack. Come on, give us something good from the pack. Here we go. Fiat, Mercury, Skoda, Chrysler, and a Porsche Taycan. Okay, so we got one new car. It wasn't a great new car, but it was a new car. I'm getting really low on the missing cars now in my garage. So that is really good news. 25 cars, it's just a bit of cash, 200K of cash. Not too bad. Is one new super rare worth 200k? Probably not, but to me, it sort of is. Okay, so let's get back to the Endurance Cup. So we've moved on a few hours. My yellow Porsche has now finished its upgrades. We will throw in the cash to finish it off. That is 2598. I need to work out which of my blue or my yellow Porsche is better at drags and that kind of stuff. At the moment, I really don't know what's going on on any track. I just know I kind of want to put the Mitsubishi on the wet tracks, I think. It depends what the opponents are. But let's just throw those cars in and let's see what our bracket looks like. 
For this one, I think I'll put the Porsche 911s on the drags and just throw the rest in. Okay, Monaco, narrow streets, an easy win. These will all be easy wins. I'm presuming I haven't got a new bracket. Blue Porsche wins. Black Porsche easily wins. Yellow Porsche easily wins on the drag, half mile, 103 points. Already got 402. And this Mitsubishi, I think, is a great car for the wet. We shall see though. 498 on my first ticket. Right, I'm 38. Let's have a look, get three cards and let's go and see what the bracket looks like. So I'm 37th now. So the bracket has got 97 people in it out of 128. The top player has played eight tickets. I don't recognize any of the names in there particularly. That's okay. So we'll play again. Let's get these five tickets done and we'll see where we end up with the bracket. Okay, again, these are pretty okay cars to beat. I'm presuming that wet, twisty road, there's no advantage taking a standard tyre car. I think a performance four-wheel drive will beat it out. Hyundai Envision gets a win. We'll skip ahead because we don't want to watch all them. The standard tyre car did take a loss to my four-wheel drive. Play the three tickets up to 25th. Play the third ticket. Yep, this guy's no problem at all. These two Porsche 911s have been very useful since I've pulled them. Very useful. That's why they're maxed, because realistically they shouldn't be maxed. There's better cars in my garage, but actually they just turn up in the criteria so often. So that's the North Loop. That's no problem. I think that is going to lose to a couple of the other non four wheel drive Porsches, but certainly not the Taycan. Honda Envision against the Speedster wins. Black Porsche wins against the Red Targa. My Mitsubishi against his standard tyre should be no trouble at all. Yep. And my Blue Porsche beats the Taycan Turbo RQ90. I guess that's at 111. Yeah, 111. So let's not um, get too excited about that being a great win. But 320 to 0 gets us three cards. Let's play our fourth ticket. This guy looks alright. Anyone who's running super rares, I think, is easy target at the minute. Put the Mitsubishi on the wet. We'll match the black Porsche. And just chuck the others in anyway, I suppose. As I play for the next couple of days, I'll work out what the best tracks to put each of my cars on. But at the moment, I'm just going to chuck them in. Skip ahead, 438 to 0. Three cards, Peugeot, Citroen and 250 cash. Okay, we're 14th. One more ticket for the time being. Yeah, there's the Porsche, the RQ97 Porsche. Let's see what we can do with that. I don't think I'm beating it on any of the tracks, to be fair. But the rest of his hand is very beatable, so I don't think we'll have any trouble. That black Porsche is not maxed. The Taycan is no problem. Pretty sure the standard tyre four-wheel drive car is no problem. And here we go. Race one, yellow Porsche wins against his Porsche. Race two, this is the one. Yeah, look at that. I bet that's only one star. I'm not beating that Porsche 935, so so be it. I still got three stars, so that's really good. That's cleaned off the whole board. Fresh board next time. I mean, eight, five, and zero. There's a lot of people at five and zero. Okay, good. Let's see what happens. One fifteen people. There's only another thirteen people coming into the bracket at the time being. Okay, we're back. I just come back quickly. The ticket's going to refresh in 17 seconds, 16 seconds, 15 seconds. I just want to see what the refresh rate is on it. The last Endurance one, it refreshed every 15 minutes. 
It normally refreshes every 30 minutes. Let's see what it does. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes. So the tickets are refreshing every quarter of an hour, which means you can play four tickets an hour, which is double what you can normally play. Obviously that helps because you've got to play 100 tickets to get top tiers. So let's play that ticket anyway and let's get in, have a look and see what the guys are looking like at the top. Okay, so this is the guy at the top currently, Chris. He's got a hand. I don't think I'm beating that hand. Nyx looks doable. I think I could probably beat Nyx. Probably don't want to try it though, just in case. Peter's got a really strong hand as well. I'm not going to have a go at that, I don't think. Nathan, ah, oh, that's got to be doable, isn't it? That's got to be doable. And this 80, top drives 85 is definitely beatable. Let's take him. I think we'll try and play the people at the bottom. Try and keep going up. There's no point attacking each other at the top. So my yellow against his yellow will win. Because I mine is maxed. That twisty road with Mitsubishi should be okay. The hairpin should be okay with my blue. And we'll match his Hyundai. And we'll put my black on the hairpin. See how it goes. Okay, so my blue beats the speedster. No trouble. My yellow should have no trouble here because it's maxed. Iron dies are both maxed the same, I guess. Two, three, three. It's a draw. Okay, my black Porsche should win this, no problem. He has a four wheel drive which taxes it on a dry effectively. And my Mitsubishi does win nicely, comfortably. Good. It's a good choice that's a very twisty card 200 to zero two cards it's put me in second yeah I, i'm not confident i'm gonna get in the top tiers certainly not getting first i don't think hopefully i can get top four but more realistically top eight i think we'll leave it there okay something interesting is happening in my bracket First thing to say is it is 3 a.m. on Friday night, going to Saturday morning. Couldn't sleep, so I was checking my bracket and I played a few tickets. I'm in second at the moment. I should probably be in fourth. I believe my hand is better than everyone fifth and below, but definitely not better than third or fourth. However, they aren't playing much. Maybe because it's 3 a.m., maybe because the event lasts three days and they don't need to. My tactic at the moment is to play as many tickets as possible. They refresh every 15 minutes, that's four per hour when possible. Obviously, I will sleep at some time, but I'm hoping to hit the player in fifth, which will create a gap between us in tier two and the rest of the pack in tier three and below. I can't beat Pluto, who's in first place. I think he knows it because he's hitting me a couple of times and it looks like he's more concerned with Chris in third. Chris has a hand that could compete for place one, so Pluto is trying hard to create that gap between him and tier two. He doesn't need to hit me because I have no chance of being first place with my hand. However, I suspect he's going to hit me if I'm the one playing hard and the other guys are sitting back a bit. Obviously, if he stops playing and I keep playing, I will take first. But I guarantee you that's not going to happen. So if Chris starts to play a bit, I suspect they'll start swapping blows and hopefully keep me out of it. I'm going to keep hitting fifth place and try and create that gap between us and fifth and below. I should say now that I have no connection to any of these players in the bracket. I know I'm calling them Chris and Pluto and stuff, but I don't know any of them. I've got no connection to them. I can't communicate with them. This is just my observations. I can't be sure what people are thinking, and I suspect I'm reading too much into it. We will see what happens over the next 42 hours, but for now I'm going to play a couple of tickets and then go back to bed. Oh yes, also I've changed out my Mitsubishi for this other legendary Porsche, the Porsche Taycan. It has a good 0-60 and is also four-wheel drive so I can still use it on the wet tracks. The Mitsubishi does beat it on the more twisty wet tracks, but I think it's improvement overall. It's really good for the short drags. It is only at 111, but I don't see myself putting any fuses in it, especially as I'm trying to play four tickets an hour. If I put a fuse in that, I'm gonna to have to wait for eight hours before I can play again, or I'll have to go back to the Mitsubishi. So I don't think I'm gonna upgrade it. 
Also, it's not worth it. If I drop down a tier, so be it. Let's play these two tickets. So here we go. There's no point looking up and down the list. I cannot beat fourth and third and first. So let's play fifth. Ironically, this player has one of the best legendaries in the criteria, but it hasn't got anything else to back it up. So we should be able to win this no problem. Here's the Taycan going against the green Taycan. I know it's a lower RQ, but it does seem to be a better choice than the green one. Two fifty cash and a Renault Laguna. Right, let's play the next hand. This eighty-seven top drives eighty-seven guy has got a very interesting hand to play. You have to be really careful because that seventy-six Porsche is really quite good but his 78 black Porsche is not upgraded so that's an easy win and my two Porsche fully maxed Porsches the yellow and the blue will win those no problem so I will at least get three wins out of five let's see first track was no problem second track I'm going to lose so this is the 911 speedster the red really interested to see how my Taycan goes up against it it's not got a good handling figure and the straights are long, but I don't think I'll make it. No, I'm, I'm not catching him. So that's a loss. Okay, no problem. Skip ahead. Okay, so that's my two tickets played. I'm solidly in second. So we'll come back a bit later in the timescale and see where we are. Okay, so I was a bit wrong about what's going on. We're middle of the day on Saturday. We've got 32 hours to go. I'm playing every ticket I'm awake for. Pluto is playing every ticket he can as well. He is hitting me every ticket. I am hitting person in fifth every ticket I can. I am edging my way up because taking a loss loses less points than taking a win. Theoretically, I'm edging my way up. He is striding ahead because he's not taking any losses because the other two guys, Peter and Chris, aren't playing that much. The poor guys in 5th, 6th and 7th and 8th are getting hit by me badly. But if I want to get this tier 2 pack, I need to play every ticket. It's a quiet weekend, there's not much else going on. Therefore, I am playing every ticket I can. Let's play two more. Okay, it's unfortunate that I end up keep hitting the same guys. This guy, Nick, it's nothing personal, but he is in 5th a lot. When he gets hit down by me and the other guys, he hits back at the people below him and comes back up again. I don't like constantly hitting the same person, but I am hitting fifth place. I'm not hitting a specific person. If that person in fifth place is the same person a lot, it's not my fault. Please don't hate me for hitting the same person. So my black Porsche beats the gold Porsche on every track but two. It's the Monaco narrow streets track and the karting circuit are the only two that the gold Porsche beats the black Porsche. That's ingrained in my head, so I know how to win with this car. So far, my Porsche Taycan can beat other people's Porsche Taycan if it's the green one and it's not been upgraded. My maxed blue 911 can pretty much beat anything apart from the top two slick tyre Porsches, which there aren't that many of them in my bracket. There certainly aren't any in direct competition with who I'm playing in fifth. That bright blue Porsche looks threatening. It really does. It gets beaten a lot by other cars. Certainly my Hyundai on the hairpin wins no problem. Of course, my yellow 911 beats the red 911. That's 250 win, three stars. Okay, let's play again. This is one of the other dudes that's coming up. They have a strong-ish hand, but it's very beatable. Okay, so we're sacrificing my Taycan against their really strong, slick tire Porsche. That will allow me to win other races. 
such as this one against the black Porsche. Race three is just a win for my blue Porsche. And my black Porsche beats the Mitsubishi on the karting circuit. Final race, that red Porsche Speedster is a strong car, but somehow on the Monaco hairpin, the Hyundai beats it. So again, playing the third ticket, we're back on this guy again, unfortunately. As I said earlier, we know that the black Porsche beats the gold Porsche. We're going to put my Taycan against their Taycan on the short drag. We're going to put my blue Porsche on the north loop and my yellow Porsche on the fast circuit. So this north loop is no problem for my maxed blue Porsche 911. Black beats gold on the twisty circuit. Hyundai just loses to the black Porsche. My yellow Porsche gets a 55 win easily. And my RQ87 Taycan beats the RQ90 Taycan. Pick up the two cards. So as you can see, we're still in second. We're playing for our second position here. The guys in fifth are 217 down. They're creeping up, but I'm creeping up. As you can see, Pluto has hit me quite a few times. He's using every ticker on me. He's got every right to. I am theoretically the threat to his first place, his potentially double legendary pack. I'm no threat to him, but he doesn't know that. From his side, it's smart gameplay. I'm going to keep hitting fifth place, try and create that cushion, create that gap so that on Sunday night, we're looking strong for getting the legendary pack. Good news! The other guys have started to play a bit more now. Peter and Chris are playing and bringing themselves up the table. Hopefully we can share the losses from Pluto, which will mean my wins against the tier three players will count for a bit more. I'll monitor it and keep playing all the tickets I can. I really need to create that buffer gap just in case all hell breaks loose on Sunday night. So let's play a ticket while we're here. Hit this fifth position again. Take Anne on the drag. My yellow Porsche against Twisty Road Wet, and fill in the rest. My blue Porsche wins. Nice, skip ahead, 200 to 50. Two cards, 250 cash, and an AMC. Right, let's play another. Same guy, unfortunately. Taycan versus Taycan, yellow versus red, blue versus blue, black versus gold, and the throwaway Hyundai on the fast circuit. So my blue wins easily on the north loop. No problem, 205 to 50. Another easy win. We'll leave it there and we'll come back in a few hours. Hey, quick check in. It's 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning with 10 and a half hours to go. The other two players in my tier two have started to hit back at Pluto. He is taking losses, a lot of losses. And that has put me temporarily in tier one, first place. I'm definitely not staying here. It's a gameplay tactic that they are doing to bring Pluto back down to our level. He was getting way too far ahead. And I suspect one of these two people is going to make a play for first place later on today. I'm still hoping and playing for tier two. Hopefully I can keep hold of it. I have a big lead over tier three players, so it should be fine. I will watch the action as it happens and record anything significant. 
I'm back, we've got 30 minutes to go. It's been an interesting afternoon. The top four has changed around. As I expected, I'm no longer in first, but unbelievably, I am in second. Pluto has been knocked down to fourth. Peter in first, Chris in third. I've played a lot less today because I just wanted to keep my head down and not get involved. I don't have the cars to beat any of the top three players, so I really didn't want to look like I was pushing at them. It has worked. I'm on target for tier two finish, which gets me the epic Mazda off-road prize car, an amazing guaranteed legendary pack. It's a totally crazy pack. I really love these endurance events. They are hard work, but the prizes are just awesome. Let's play a couple more tickets. I'm tucking in behind Peter. I'm not getting ahead of him because I don't want to threaten him in any way. But I definitely don't want to be dropping down because this Alexander is coming up in fifth. And he's getting real close to fourth. So I don't want to be anywhere near that when it happens. So let's hit this Alexander anyway. He's the new guy in fifth. He's playing hard. He's not going to reach tier two, especially if um, we all keep hitting him. He's a much harder player to beat than the other guys I've been beating for the last two days. But I can beat him. One of the track sets is very dicey. You've got to really think. One fifty to fifty, that's good enough. Okay, we're ninety points behind Peter. I think we'll leave it there. As I say, don't want to threaten first place in any way. So here we go. I am really pleased with my final position. I got tier two, the last endurance cup event, and I got top eight, which is tier three. So this is a great achievement. It's amazing. Let's see what's in the pack. Lamborghini, Maserati, Lotus, Mazda, that's the one we're guaranteed, Spiker, and <laughs> Jaguar F-Pace. Well, it's a really high RQ result for me. The only problem is I have one. I'm not going to keep a second one, so it is definitely fuse material, which is a bit of a shame. Apart from the new off-road Mazda, which I'm really pleased to get, all of those Ultras, the Epic and the Jaguar are fuse material, unfortunately. But fuse material is good. Fuse material makes my garage stronger. Thank you for watching through my experience with this Endurance Cup event. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. There are no bad results in this event. Even if you come 128th place, you'll get a carbon fibre with a small chance of winning a legendary car. So it's a win-win for everybody. Let's hope Hutch continues to put these events out. But for now, I'm going to get back to normal life. You get yourself out of here. We are done.